Let's take a look how to make this glowing gold text with the help of the Deep Glow 2 plugin in After Effects. So in my case, I'm going to start in Illustrator where I created this custom type. And the main point was to create it really thin, super thin, because I can apply bevel on this in After Effects. And that is basically external bevel and it's going to make it thick. So from here, I'm going to go and save it, drag it in the asset export and let's save it as an AI. Click on export. Let's go to After Effects, click on New Composition, and for the width and the height, I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and I'm going to go with 5 seconds, click OK. From here, I'm going to drag and drop the AI file that I created, click OK, and I'm going to open it up and drag and drop the AI file right here. Right-click on it, go to Create, and select Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Let's go and delete the original AI file, select the shape layer, press the letter S, scale it up. And I also gonna go and recolor the fill and I'm gonna go with some golden color. Click OK. All right, so from here, we're gonna activate the 3D. So let's go here to the cube, activate the cube. If you don't have this, you can go and click on the toggle switch. So it's gonna disappear and appear. I also gonna go to the one view, change it to two views. So here we can see it in 3D. And I'm going to go and open up the geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. And now as you can see, it's going to make it thicker. Let's go and activate the bevel style. I'm going to go and change it to convex. So let's go to the bevel depth and I'm going to increase it a little bit more. I'm going to change the view back to one. And in order to make this metallic, we're going to go here to the material options, open it up, scroll down, make sure that the metal is increased to 100. And we're going to go here to the specular shininess, also increase it to 100. So now we got this metallic reflective effect. You also can control this. I'm going to go and collapse this, right click, new, select the light. Make sure to select environment light. Also check cast shadows, click OK. And you also can go here to the transform, open it up and control the X and the Y rotation of the light. Check this out. And now we're going to apply the glow. I'm going to collapse this, right click, go to new, select adjustment layer. This is going to be the glow. And from here, we're going to go to the effects and presets and type in deep glow to drag it on the glow layer. And check this out here. We've got all the options. We're going to go to the style first and I'm going to open up the aspect ratio. And here we got the aspect ratio. You can see it's going to make it only horizontal. And then here you also can enable the angle. I'm going to check it and then you can go and rotate it and take a look at that. You also can go here to the radius and decrease it if it's too much. There it is. Decrease the exposure. So in our situation, I'm going to go with 90 degree angles. There's also a really cool option here, which is the chromatic aberration. Let's open it up and let's enable pixel aberration. Here we can select the colors. I'm going to go with the red and blue. And let's go to the pixel offset. I also going to zoom in and let's go to the pixel offset, increase it and check this out. It is going to mix in the colors. I'm going to go with a lower number, 7.30. I'm also going to enable the glow aberration. And here you can mix up the red, green and the blue. So here I'm going to go with 55 and then 60 for the blue 30. I'm also going to go back here to the exposure and I'm going to decrease it to 0 0.1 and I'm going to increase the radius to 35 and I'm going to select the deep glow 2 and duplicate it. Press Ctrl D and I'm going to go to the deep glow 3 and let's go to the aspect ratio and I'm going to decrease it to 0. So check this out and now we've got horizontal and vertical glow. You also can change up the values if you want. For example, I'm going to go with aspect 45 and I'm going to scroll up and this is going to be minus 45. So now you have a different effect. I also going to animate the environment light. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to activate the X and the Y stopwatch, bring it all the way to the end, add one instead of the zero, one again to the Y, and let's bring these out all the way. Hit play and I get the reflection and the glow in action. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.